Jesus, how can I follow a smoking sheep? <laughs> Shit. No, so uh, I recently was watching Blade Runner. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> no, um, so the movie itself was made in the 80s, but set in 2019. And I always love seeing, like, okay, what did people in the past think of the future? Do you do that? No, you have sex. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so at the core of the movie are electric people, androids, right? But it's also like a neo-noir uh, movie, you know, because I know cinema. Uh, and they just smoke, like, all throughout the movie. Just a ton of smoke. And of course now it's 2020. And they really fucked up getting the future right. Because we don't have electric people, but we have electric cigarettes. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a lot of uh, smoking material because my grandparents smoked and I didn't like it when I was a kid. Uh, we're laughing, we're laughing. <laughs> but I, I actually, I want to I wanna start my set on a really sad note. Uh, I lost someone close to me. Mr. Peanut? Okay. <laughs> they killed him! They killed Mr. Peanut! Uh, if you haven't seen it, um, his death is on the internet, uh, for everyone to see. Uh, he was driving the Nutmobile with comedian Matt Walsh and Wesley Snipes when he sees an armadillo, and he drives off. Uh, well, one, this, this prompted a lot of questions, like, is Mr. Peanut legally allowed to drive? That's one thing. And does his driver's license imply some sort of, like, peanut social security? But I guess that's secondary. No. Thanks. Uh, no, so they're hanging off a tree. Um, in the process, right, I learned that Mr. Peanut's actually 104 years old. He was born in 1916. He looks great for being way past his expiration date. I mean, the shelf life of Peanut is not that good. Great skin. Um, I actually was, like, researching this. Uh, his name is Bartholomew Richard Fitzgerald Smythe. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, he's British, he wears a monocle, a top hat, so I'm assuming he's aristocratic. So when the class war, when the class war starts, I'm gonna eat him first. Uh, no, but I'm really convinced that this whole thing was an inside job. Who would do such a thing? Alright, I have one of, I have two hypotheses. The first is that it was planters, okay? That armadillo was perfectly in the middle of the road. <laughs> Who else would have the resources except planters? Planters, planters right? <laughs> or secondly, um, it's literally anyone with a nut allergy. Uh, that man is in a, like, a, like an immediate threat. Uh, he's on TV, that cocky smug asshole is on TV reminding people of their own mortality. I would drive him off the road. Uh, but of course, I'm not allergic to nuts, so I didn't do it, okay? Um, no, but seriously, I love it when large multinational food conglomerates plumb the depths of the human psyche to sell nut. I love it when they do that. I mean, on the one hand, on the one hand, right, it's the economic exploitation of human emotion. But on the other hand, Wendy's Twitter is pretty sassy. <laughs> okay. Just be, just be thankful, I had a lot more puns in that set, but I removed them all because they beat me up after. <laughs> if anyone still wants to beat me up, I'll be in the back after the show. Uh, no. Good news, I finally know what I want to do with my life. Professional treasure hunter. Does anyone know how to become a professional treasure hunter? Uh, you know, I went to the career fair to look for them. I looked! Nothing. I couldn't figure it out. Do I just like run into like a British aristocrat who will be my mentor? I don't know. I really, I really don't know. Um, I realize at this point I should probably change my major to archaeology, you know, then a master's PhD. I find it interesting that all these people are like academics, which like if I was a student, that's like good and bad, like good, like, oh, your 9 a.m. is canceled again. What's Professor doing? I don't know, fighting Nazis or some, something. I don't, I don't know. Uh, the bad news is you'll like write like an entire paper on like how the Holy Grail is like a myth. And then your professor will be like, no, 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 no. If only, if only you do. And then he'll fail you. Uh, no, but then they always run into like these highly skilled paramilitary groups, you know, like Nazi SS or like just Russians or K pop fans. But yeah, sure, the guy with a BA in history is going to be the one to kick all their asses. Sure. 
That's you? That's you? Everyone give this guy a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how would anyone even peer review this guy's academic journal? Like, <laughs> thank you, you're my only, only true audience member. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, um, so like, I punched a Nazi and I ran from a boulder, but it's okay because the Nazi's face melted off. Like, how do you check that? You can't, you can't, the face is gone. <laughs> But one thing you notice about treasure hunters is that their nemesises are always just like, also treasure hunters, but are like somehow more evil versions of being a treasure hunter. And you know they're evil because they're British. Uh, that's, that's the one trope I can side with. You know, when I was a kid, I was always like, Gran Grandpa, my brother, he stole my toy. And then Grandpa would be like, oh, the British stole my land. <laughs> Imagine that with like literally any other profession. Like, oh, I'm a plumber. <laughs> so you unclog someone's toilet, and then your nemesis will just come in and clog the toilet. <laughs> or if you're an accountant, you know, they fuck around with your Excel sheet. <laughs> Try explaining that to the IRS. <laughs> um, or, if you, or if they're a cop, then their nemesis is a cop, because they're just bad. <laughs> uh, um, but I'll end on this note. They always say like, oh, this artifact belongs in a museum. And they never specify which museum they're talking about, because to me, like a treasure hunter is usually like a white guy who goes to a third world or developing country and just kind of takes the artifact back to their country. Uh, to me, that's just like imperialism with a bunch of extra steps in it. Like, have you heard of the Elgin Marvel people? All right, thanks. <laughs>